How did you guys uh, come up with the idea of uh, not just uh, Doc and Marty, but also the car? Well, you see, we, sh we were going home. Well, you see, it all started last time where we saw people doing, you know, going around having like these mechanical things. So it was like, I was like, we needed to get one of those. So he showed me the all of the um, Back to the Future movies. And so the thing we did was we decided to, you know, go as Doc Brown and... Sure. And you see, we were trying to, you know, think of how we can make it pizzazz, you know? Yeah. And I was like, I, that was suggesting we had more people. And I was like, nah, that might be worth the money. So I was like, so we decided, I got it. We can do the car. And then, which led us to the idea of right here. And he, he got at the idea to save the clock tower and the hoverboard. And so, so last year we entered the comic contest for the first time. Um, we did not win. Uh, but we noticed that um, the first and second place people both had costumes that had lights and sound. Yeah, yeah. So he coming back said, if, if when we do it next year, we have to have something with lights and sound. And then when I showed him the Back to the Future movies, he said, that's what we'll do. We'll, we'll make the car and it'll have lights and sound. And here we are. And, and it's environmentally friendly because it's made of recycling things and cardboard. <laughs> so so uh, what is the car? Is it like a Mattel car underneath or...? or? No, so this this actually is, is made, uh, I made a skeleton of uh, PVC pipe. Oh, wow. Okay. And then um, overlaid mostly cardboard on top of it. Uh, and then um, handmade all the science fiction junk, uh, mostly out of a lot of recycled things and, and stuck it on and worked really hard to try and make it movie accurate as, as much as one could. And, go ahead. And this hoverboard, it's, um, Dad made this Why don't you come over here? By yeah. taping it, by, yeah. you know, taping and printing certain things out in color and you know with and duct tape a lot of duct tape actually and so it was and like that said movie accurate accurate i guess it should have been a little smaller but I, honestly it's it's, oh, it's it's amazing that's really cool and how long did it guys take you guys to do the car uh, about three months three all, months all, all together yeah and uh, and the, the rest of the stuff you just uh, found different costumes that happen to work uh, yeah. I figured that you know the Marty McFly and the doc costumes are both pretty simple this is a, a white painter suit you paint the radioactive symbol we'll these are I mean, rubber yeah. gloves I mean, the Marty McFly um, might be a little bit harder but, but was, it's just mainly layers yeah a lot of this was thrift store stuff we just kind of looked to shop and try and find stuff that you know looked like that so um, not hard layers, to make it too movie accurate Cool. Well, thanks for talking to me. Good luck, guys. Thank you so much.